overcome the world. The devil could not find any hold on him because there was no sin found in him. You are born of God, you overcome the world. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Say, I receive power. When the Holy Spirit come over me, many powers, the power of the blood of Jesus, the power of humility, the power of love, the power of love, the power of mercy, the power of kindness, the power of grace, the power of goodness and favor. Satan is to all these powers is available to me as a Christian. When the Holy Spirit come over me, all these powers are available to me. This is terrifying, a terrifying powers for the devil. He's terrified of these powers. So he tried to lie to you. He tried to steal from you by trying to get you to sin. He, 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 he and his servants try his very best, level best, to cry, try and get you to sin. Because then they can nail you. They can try to destroy you. But even if the devil trapped you in your sin, Jesus came to set us free. Say, so Jesus came to set us free. Jesus came to set me free. It is not God's desire for you to lose anything. It is God's desire for you to win back what has been stolen from you by the power that is in His name. Anything that's been taken away from you can be taken back. Say anything that's been taken away from me can be taken back in the name of Jesus by the power of His blood. In Jesus' name. Therefore the Bible says in Isaiah 60, Arise and shine for your light has come. Say, Arise and shine for your light has come. Say to the guy next to you, Arise! 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 And shine for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Meaning, you can take back what has been stolen from you in Jesus' name. All the blessings that's been stolen from you by the evil one, from the time you've been born, you can take back in Jesus' name. Say, if the thief is caught out, he will repay sevenfold in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Everything that's been stolen from you, even from childhood, can be taken back in Jesus' name. You know, sometimes the promises of the Bible... They become ours by us taking them by force. They're sometimes not automatically ours. But it takes one man or one woman in a family or one person to fight this good fight of faith and not giving up and believe the scriptures where the scripture is saying. You will not use this proverb in Israel anymore that the children's teeth will go blunt because the father's Ate sour grapes. This is the scripture for us, but it needs to be taken by force. The one who can take it by force, he can help others to be free. Amen? Say, everything can be taken back. What has been stolen from me? From childhood, even from birth. It can be taken back. But few people are taking hold of God's promises and wrestle with this and wrestle with God and take it back by force, believing that for this purpose the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Many people sit with their sickness till the day of their death. You know, I don't blame them. Because I tell you, it takes, some, it takes something of you it takes grace. It takes prayer. It takes commitment. It takes commitment and a joining to Jesus to break some of the terrible things that's been placed on you by your forefather's sin. Like allergies, like asthma, the epileptic fits, all sorts of things that is on you that should not be there. It takes one man or one woman Wrestling with God, praying and fasting, breaking these strongholds. And that person who did it is the one who can set others free. 
it takes some doing. It takes commitment from your side. It takes commitment. It takes a man and a woman that will say, I will produce fruit and fruit that will last for the king by his power and by his grace. I will be a fruit in season and out of season. I will believe Jesus.